Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Democracy 3. Where well, look, we won the election, which is awesome. It's been a media backlash even though we just won an election. <laughs> Come on guys! Get firewise. Our people are still loved here. Let's show the potential ministers as well. Yeah, no, we've got the best, like, team ever. Like, look at this. There's only one man in this whole cabinet. I love it. It's awesome. Also, I need to, like, save the game. Because I haven't saved in ages. Save two. I know, how boring. Alright. Cool. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, just had a bit of a crash again. <laughs> Silly thing. Anyways, we're back. So, we have this problem here. What is it? Corporate exodus, yes. And we have the brain drain problem. Now, can we make this go down? Mm, very unlikely because of the current crisis happening worldwide. This one is really hard to tell whether it's going to go down. And obviously the income tax is causing it. I could just cancel the income tax. I mean, <laughs> if we cancel the income tax, then the whole thing goes, like, you know, down forever. Wait a minute, then again, does that, is that saying what I think it's saying? No, not really. And yeah, we can make the brain drain go way up! And the wealthy hate us, but we're not gonna do that! So no. Right, what can we do? Can we enact a new policy? I know these policies are really low now. Apparently there's no more welfare policies we can... Wait, what? What is this? Okay. And this... Yeah. Alright. Rural development grants, all of this stuff. And yes, guys, I was uh, I just realized I don't actually have all the expansions. So I'm going to try and get those and do another game. Next time we're going to play as a conservative of some kind. I don't know what kind, but we're going to do it. Um, are we losing money? We are. We're in deficit. Deficit. Yes. Then we need to make money, don't we? With armed police! No, we're not going to use armed police. It's ridiculous. Oh, hello. Make money with speed cameras. Now nah, it's not enough money, so we won't do that. Uh, toll roads. Satellite road pricing. Be fitted to everyone's car and keeps track of what roads people use and when. Last per road pricing for car usage, which gives local authorities fine control over reducing congestion. Ooh, that's a fascinating system. It's expensive, but it also gives us income. Bus subsidies. It seems like we should actually have bus subsidies in place. Let's do it. Bus subsidies. We'll keep it on low for now. Right. Um, we are in a deficit. We've got reserves. So we'll go to the next turn and see what happens. Alright. Nuclear power station. A large energy company wants to construct a new nuclear power station. The power station is needed as our economy grows and the company has built similar plants before so there shouldn't be any problems with its construction. Uh, nuclear power stations are in use all over the world without power, uh, problems and it would be mad to turn our backs on such a clean source of energy. Maybe generous, but the potential nightmare situation if there are problems means it's not worth the risk. Well, nuclear power is cool. Um, it is, yeah, I mean, it is better to go with like kind of solar energy. Uh, but you know what? I think we'll do it. Because hey, like, it's, it's a clean power source, mostly. Mostly. Uh, the polling results, yeah, good. Security briefing, Crusaders of the Lord are constantly on my back. We still have a deficit, but that's only because the global economy is sucky. Sucky! Actually, let's go back. Let's see what the actual uh, global economy is like. Bam! Look at that crash. Terrible. Man, it was nice when the economy was this good, but hey, we survived. We survived. But we are in a deficit right now, which is kind of lame. Um... But look, we have reserves. What kind of country can say they have reserves? Alright, any more policies we can put into place? School vouchers. There's no cost. Oh no, it's private schooling. Yeah. Uh, no longer state employees. No, we don't want that. Healthcare vouchers. Yeah, but we've got free healthcare. We don't need healthcare vouchers. It's not necessary. To, uh, to try and subsidize that. Let's try changing a few little things, shall we? So, pollution controls. Major fines. That would make the capitalists hate us. The environment is already nice, though. 
Uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll keep this in place. The CO2 emissions thing is fine. We kind of need to... How do we solve this problem? It is really difficult. Um, it'd be nice if there was a difference between policies and... Uh, unless these aren't policies. Ah, oh, well. Stem cell research is at 100%. State schools, student laptops. It is expensive, that one. That is a huge one. And obviously we want to keep the free school meals. Youth club subsidies. You know what? We'll go 100% on this one. Uh, yes. Facebook. I forgot to turn it off. University grants. These are also very expensive. I will keep that in place. Um, free eye tests. Health food subsidies, which is always good. Hybrid cars. Well, we could probably go up on that one too. I know we're supposed to be reducing government spending, but hey. The car tax. <laughs> oh, yeah. We could we could do this. We've already solved the car problem mostly. Environmentalists would love us. Mostly people will hate us. However, the income is fantastic. But who needs cars? We have buses. We have trucks. We have all that kind of stuff. Inheritance tax we could make more money off that, but that would make the wealthy hate us. Yeah, no. Hmm. I don't know. It's oh yeah, but. That's right. No, we don't want to cancel the policy, but we don't want to make it too terrible because of the brain drain. The brain drain! National monorail system is in place. Road building. Would be, uh, car usage does go up. Hey, okay, but we have a car tax, don't we? Mm hmm. Rail subsidies. Cool. Car emissions uh, limits. Do 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 do. Environment will get better, environmentalists will love us more, CO2 emissions go down, car usage goes down, motorists go down, motorist income goes down, oh well, screw it. We don't care about that. Alcohol law is fine, who <laughs> could ban it? Yeah, ban. But yes, violent crime goes up. We do not want violent crime in our country. Right, next turn. We have so much power! Fracking? Oh no, that's definitely not a liberal agenda. Better known as fracking is a new drilling technology that allows energy companies to exploit previously unreachable deposits of shale gas. The technique is a relative is relatively new and requires the government to give permission to use. On the one hand, it opens up potentially huge supplies of energy. On the other hand, we just allowed nuclear energy. There's no way we're going to get fracking through. No fracking way. I'm not a fracking toaster. Anyways, um... The global economy is in recession. It's not doing too bad, though. It is actually restoring itself. Oh, then again, no, it's not. And again, our GDP went up a bit, which is nice. Uh, go back. Any other issues? I love my... Honestly, everyone here is amazing. Okay, I mean, you're not that amazing. You're not very effective, but, you know, you're still doing a good job. All right, brain drain isn't going up, is it? No. Nope. And this has kind of stayed in place. God, these corporations are so demanding. Carbon tax, you know, screw you. Maternity leave, what do you want me to do? Get rid of maternity leave. What, you want me to reduce the laws? You want me to say, oh my god, we should like have no laws on... No, we're not gonna protect our, we're gonna protect our workers. Work safety laws, and of course we're gonna have labor laws in place. The right to strike, yeah. Of course we're pro-union. Ah. Damn corporations. Alright, next turn. Nobel Prize! Yeah, another Nobel Prize! We've got Liberals, Patriots. Our membership went up. Well, you know, can't be terrible, can it? Uh, we're in a deficit of 1 billion per turn. Awesome. Economy must be restoring itself. Or we're just restoring it, which is cool. Yes. See, this is why I like not being in debt. <laughs> Makes things extremely fun. Tax shower, transport. It seems that we've enacted most of the socialist stuff. Yeah. I think I'll go to the next election and then I will call it a game. I don't I don't necessarily know how long you have to go in order to actually win the game, if you can win the game. Alright, let's look yeah, labor laws. What is this? Work safety. Cycling. It is expensive, but you know what? Universal door. Stop. The door stop. Is that what it says? Universal... What does it say? Yeah. It must be door stop. Yeah, I think that's what it says. Alright, revert changes. Cool. 
Yep, somebody's blooping me. I'm just going to go turn it off. And we're back. Cool. Pollution controls. Major fines. You know what? Put it up. Oh, wait. That makes the corporations hate us, actually. Yeah, we've got to be careful with that one. Because we, we're in a corporate uh, thing. Membership's going down. Nice. We don't want religious people. Go away! No, I'm just kidding. Well, you know, it's from a socialist perspective. I am playing a socialist as much as I can. There's still religious people in our country. And yeah, there are still capitalists. Although most most people are actually socialists. Which is awesome. That's what we wanted. Um, unemployment benefits on max. We got state housing. Which is extremely expensive, by the way. So let's be careful with that one. Uh, child benefit would be nice to bring that up a bit more. Why would the capitalists hate that? It's not very nice of them. No, but that is still a lot of money. at six billion. Um, so yeah, child care provision, welfare food department. Well, you know, it's it's giving us money that we can. We, we're trying to we enforce a system where um, everybody is allowed to be on the benefit, but you know, people who don't need to be will be effectively destroyed. Retirement age, is it? Oh no, just the retired membership goes up. Fascinating. So, retired people like us more, poverty goes down, environmentalists love us. It's not too expensive, just a few billion. Military spending. Oh my god, let's make it go down. We'll go down to about here. Yeah, light defensive. Just on the edge of light defensive. Like that. Well, so we're still light defensive. Right. Is there anything else that could change? Um, do, 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 do. I'm guessing there's a lot more options and events that happen with the uh, the expansions. Because, yeah, I am, I'm sensing I'm getting to, like, the end of what I can kind of do. I'll also make that go up. And we'll make the income tax go up too, maybe? Um, very slightly. Just so it doesn't cause the brain drain to go any worse. It's nice to get a few extra billion from that. Boom. Middle income people hate us. Oh well. Let them. Ban livestock imports. One of you, our neighboring countries led a, had a publicly announced case of foot and mouth disease. <laughs> yeah, just like the UK did. Although the chance of a disease spreading is very low. You know, well, we should probably ban it. Yeah. Holding uh, the disease. The only way to deal with it is a mass slaughter of cattle and our agricultural industry will not survive that. This may seem overcautious, but better be s to be safe than sorry. If the situation is reversed, they would do the same to us. Yeah, let's prove that ban. So we've got to be careful of that. Yes, it hurts our economy, but oh well. Patriots. My gun. My freedoms. Even though we banned, you know, gun gun laws and gun control is high. No handguns. <laughs> and violent crime goes down because of it. Um, is there a way to check through all the various issues? Alright, here's the voter types. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Everyone, 100%. Focus group. Hello, random citizen. Terry Miller. I like to give them names and give them a look. And you got the whole random other people. Look at all that approval. Amazing. We are so cool. Look at all our policies. And yeah, we have import tariffs, you know. What do we have that might be seen as a bit not good, though? I mean, gated communities, yeah, but that helps. It helps certain people. High earnings going down. Hey, <laughs> very good. Not too far down, just, you know. Appearance of text. Yep, good. I'm glad. And there's my compass all over the show. We are socialists. We are liberals. We're just everywhere. This is where we started. Yeah. Next turn. Yeah. Freedom of information. There's been a call for law increasing the availability of information held on databases about citizens within their knowledge. These include the records held by private medical companies, insurance companies, and debt collection agencies, as well as information held by government departments. Hmm. Isn't out to spy on everyone, but passing this law will just make it harder for the intelligence services to keep a wit watch on serious criminals, terrorists, but also affect large number of businesses. Let's propose the Freedom Act! Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like something. Spying on monitors by multinational corporations, computer databases, potential for abuse by government agencies if citizens cannot view what data is being stored is huge. Proposed! 
It is proposed, not to say that it actually got passed. Oh look, in a surplus. Who's the man? And yes, my GDP is just... See, we're keeping it balanced. Any wealth, any excess wealth is just going towards all of our awesome uh, programs. So this is our kind of, yeah, the effects of this. This is the income. So all our income. Oh man, we're actually earning some money from the uh, nuclear power stations. Nobel Prize helped us a bit. This is good stuff. Corporate Exodus sucks, yeah. Brain Drain. Honestly, I need to get rid of these two. Ah, how do I get rid of the freaking Brain Drain? It's annoying. Like, I can't do it. There's, there's nothing I can do here. Yeah, I could re reduce the income tax, yeah. But, like, dude. Like, like, yeah. Like, I can reduce it to about here, but that's when it stops being, like, you know. There. How about that? We'll reduce it to about that. It's just, dude. Not my fault. Um, that's it. That's the only cause of it. There's no way to make it better. I don't, from what I can tell, this is also really annoying the hell out of me. How am I supposed to get rid of this? I don't want to reduce the labor laws. The carbon tax. That's probably what it is. You know, that is, that is it. it. This is a huge amount of money, though. The carbon tax. Ugh. Oh, man. Well, income tax is going to have to go up, then. Otherwise, we have to introduce a new tax. Look, I just, I want it to keep falling, you know? I want it to keep going down. Fine, do that. It's going to hurt. I hate you capitalists. Stop it! Okay, we're gonna need... Well, we're gonna need money from somewhere. Alright, well, let's see what the damage is. <sighs> of course I'm being condemned. Go away. Stop condemning me. You don't have any reason to condemn me. Alright. Yeah, and there we go. That's the deficit from it. Corporations. It's not even going down. The hell? The hell, man? Ugh. Is there anything else? Is there any other way we can get a lot of money? Oh, yeah, we could do satellite. Ugh. An expensive system that requires transponders. It's not even worth it, though. Uh, we need more taxes. Yeah, but a corporation tax is exactly what they'll hate. Uh, flat income tax. No. Internet tax sucks. Luxury goods tax. See, we need to solve the crisis of... Ah. Mansion tax as well will screw things up. Taxes in general tend to screw things up. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Maybe we should do some oil drilling. Yeah, but we don't get money for that. Ugh. There's not much I can do here. Um, I know. I've got an idea. Take all our money away from the military. Oh, no, but... That makes us... Oh, where is most of our GDP going? It's going into, like, the stuff I like. Where is it? No, it's not that. It's, what, this? No, it's frets. Uh, this one. Uh, health services, pension, state schools, state housing, rail subsidies. Uh, the space program, which, you know, I suppose we could reduce that. Uh, child care provision, technology grants, police force. Well, all this stuff is good. It's actually really good. Space program. Oh, yeah, but the space program's awesome. We have a space station. What do we need to do? Cancel the policy? Look, the popularity's huge as well. Even patriots love that. Ah, uh, damn capitalists. Yeah, you know, I'm probably gonna have to do this. I don't I don't like doing this. The working week is gonna go up, sadly. Stupid capitalists. Right. This one is not gonna happen though. I d I don't know how to fix that problem. Alright, labor laws are reduced. What do you like about that? Alright, new uh UN ambassador. So if somebody's retiring, we've got this event before. We have to solve problems, compromise, understanding. There we go. We are, once again, in a deficit. This is why economics sucks. 
Yes, I know. Ah, but now it's now it's actually helping. Yep. It but well, should be helping. Should be. You know what? Work safety laws, whatever. Oh, this is ridiculous. What do you want me to do? Cancel the policy? That's like that's how we that's our tax. That's how we make our money. Oh, come on, global economy, go up so I can actually like get this sorted. Alright, um alright, that's that. We were doing fine until this damn corporate exodus began happening. Um what else do we need to do? Man, all this stuff's good. Gated communities. Well, that doesn't cost anything. Gambling. Not raking us any money. Oh man, just keep going. Keep moving. Controversial march. An extreme white right wing political group is planning a march through our capital city. The group has strong racist tendencies, and the police are convinced that if the march goes ahead, there will be violent confrontations between marches and people who will show up to oppose them. The police can recommend banning the march. You know what? You know what? Ban the march. Oh, but they... Yeah, freedom... Yeah, it does not mean freedom to riot, right? Limits to freedom of speech. Freedom of speech does not mean freedom of hatred. It means freedom to have discussion of intellectual things. I know the government usually defines that stuff. We're about to run for our reserves. Yay. Boom! It's gone down. In fact, I probably didn't need to blow this issue up too badly. So I might change those labor laws back up a bit. Yeah, we'll go to, to about here again. Because I don't like working week being so terrible. Alright, we'll see how this affects it. Island has been invaded. We have sovereignty of the tiny Pacific Island. Mm. Is it? I still technically do, but bad news is that at 9 a.m. We no longer have effective control of the island. Separatist rebels stormed the governor's building and seized control of the entire island, meeting with very little opposition. If we had a stronger military, we could have a better garrison on the island. This would not have happened. Nothing we can do now, but patriots are outraged who let this happen. Well, you know what? Screw you, patriots. <sighs> We're in a deep recession. Wonderful. Alright. You know what? Screw it. We're not here for the patriots. We're here for... Even the liberals are hating... Yeah, it's because of those laws. Uh, is this being stopped? Yes, that, that issue is going away. That issue is absolutely going away. So all they cared about was the uh, was the labor laws being in that position. They just didn't want us taking a stance. Um, what was the other one? Hang on. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Work safety. I feel we need to protect people a bit more though. Like, you know. Come on. <laughs> I can't do anything about this. What do you want me to do? Make it go away? See, nothing. It won't go down anymore. You can see it. No, no, I'm not going to use the political capital. <sighs> Donkulous. Just do that. Alright, we'll see what happened. It's now at an end. Yes, good. Oh man, safeguard oil supplies. From oil companies requests that government deploy troops overseas. That oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attack by terrorists. The government involved are happy for our troops to be. <sighs> hmm. I understand we're not prepared to determine to take. Uh... This is not a foreign invasion, merely the provision of extra security for vital parts of our industry that happen to be overseas if we do not deploy our troops. Really armed and preparing to use deadly force is going to cause a major backlash in some countries. It's likely this will lead to both problems of international relations, possibly increase possibility of increased terrorism, yes. Our troops are not the security wing of the oil company, and this is no job for them. Bomb, do not deploy the troops. Screw that crap. We're still in a deficit though. Alright. So we got rid of that. This issue, however, is not subsiding. I'm just going to make this go up a bit again. You know what? Because we can. You know, like, dude. 
Wait, does this actually contribute to equality? It does. Good. Yeah, but never make it 100%. That would kill us. Um, but yeah, luckily the corporations have buggered off. I'm going to make this go up a little bit more. I want the working week to go down a little bit. I mean, yeah, productivity goes down. We'll keep it there. That's a nice balance. Alright, next turn. Pointing to fr <laughs> appointing friends to top jobs. <laughs> Alright, so unemployment's down, but so is GDP. So that's you know, it's a thing. We are getting a surplus again. Yay! Alright, a large retail chain store has announced plans to buy out some of its main competitors. This merger needs government approval, but if it goes ahead, it will create one of the biggest companies in this country. Ooh. The whole idea of the free market is based on competition. Now, allow the merger. There is no good reason to prevent this merger. Increasingly, I need to grow if they are complete success. The bigger company will be more efficient and effective in the global market. Reduce both competition and consumer choice and no doubt lead to redundancies. It's another example of government looking after a big business and forgetting the little guy. Small businesses and trade unions urge you to block this merger. Let us block it! It's been blocked. We're in a deep recession still. Yeah, it is quite deep. Oh no, go back to the thing. Um, yeah, our party is massive. And Crusaders of the Lord. Yeah, but they're not huge. It's not terrible. Everyone! Well, they hate the tobacco tax, don't they? I can make the tobacco tax go way up. Poverty increases. I don't get why poverty would increase from this. You know, maybe we should just ban it. Ban the tobacco tax, even though... Yeah, there's still going to be an alcohol tax, though. Because that's a big one. Uh, poverty goes up. Look, look poverty's at an all-time low. Like, look at that. That's amazing. We've got free eye tests. Unemployed benefit. Yeah, this is it's perfect. How's unemployment? Unemployment is way down, which is fantastic. Yeah. Employment. Woohoo. Yeah, nuclear power station. It's not something you can click on, really. Uh, import tariffs. I can just cancel this policy. We're not actually doing much with it. Yeah. Unemployment goes down, I suppose. It was not really doing anything, and it's not making us a lot of money. So we'll just do that. Yeah. Get it, communities. Flippity oh, bloopy. Wealthy would love us more. Yeah, but screw it. Brain drain! Go away. Please go away. How do I make you go? I can't just cancel this damn thing, can I? Yeah. Da -da -da. Celebrity criticism, incredibly popular and trendy pop star, has given an interview where she expresses furious opposition to your government. Let's continue to defend her views online over a sustained period. As a result, many pe young people are likely to develop negative views about your current policies. Well, that's not very nice. Like, <laughs> look how much awesomeness we're doing to our country. We're winning! I mean, everybody loves us. Environmentalists, retired lovers, commuters, liberals, socialists, the poor. The youth! Ugh, come on, man. Really? That's a ton. Look, look, we've got youth groups and stuff. Don't you like the youth groups? University grants, don't forget that, kiddies. Bet we'll go for partial grants. I'll make parents love us as well more. Alcohol levels, yeah! Tch, mildly unhappy. If you mildly unhappy. Moderately unhappy. Media backlash. Island evaded. Carbon tax. Yeah, well, the carbon tax is also a pretty big one for us, actually. And I like it. It's good. Capitalists absolutely love us. The Patriots really hate us. Flag burning law. Look, yeah, the torch deportation. Come on, man. The Nobel Prize. Point UN ambassador. Island. The island being invaded was a big one. I mean, yeah, we don't have a big military, but that's the point. We shouldn't be even having these, like, colonies anymore. It's neo-colonization. Neo-colonialism, I mean. Urgh. Landmine ban. We're gonna ban them. Of course we're gonna ban them. We got that event before, that's why I rushed for it. You guys have seen it. Yep, look at that. 95% approval. Come on, man. Right. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Tell you till then.